Fisher from the Faculty of Science is Tom Fisher, who says the oxen must flow, pinpointing a developmental superpower. Imagine having an extra arm or two to help with multitasking. You could text and drive while still keeping two hands on the wheel. <laughs> or you could carry all of the groceries from the car in one go. The possibilities are endless, and this isn't an exaggeration. This kind of regeneration really is possible, and my research is helping to understand this miracle in plants. <laughs> if you don't find plants exciting, then I'm about to disappoint you further. <laughs> Since the science that I do won't even directly benefit humans. But understanding how plants evolve this incredible ability is at the core of my PhD, where I've interrogated DNA to figure out some of the secrets that plants hold. So if you haven't been put off by my previous deception, I'd like to pose a more honest question to you. A question that will take us back in time to the beginning of life on land. And that question is, why can plants grow new limbs and you can't? For humans, you know that when a sperm and an egg combine, if all goes well, a baby appears a few months later. And that baby comes in a miniature form of a human, and you can watch that human grow in size, but very rarely would you have the pleasure of seeing them grow entirely new limbs. Now imagine a pollen grain has fertilised the ovum in a flower. When the resulting seed sprouts, it will not resemble a miniature tree with many tiny branches. Instead, that plant is able to shape itself by growing new limbs throughout its entire life. This is a real superpower, but in order to wield it effectively, plant cells need to know how to grow, and that information is communicated by hormones. The hormone that I study, oxen, has an ancient origin, as 500 million years ago, when the algal ancestor of all the plants you see around you today came out of water and onto land, their ability to control oxen expanded. This can be seen in the evolution of genes that interact with oxen, and those genes can be manipulated in ways that lets me unpick the layers of their control over plant growth. In the very simple plant species that I study, if the flow of oxen is stopped, my plants produce their first leaves without the knowledge of direction of light, and so half of them come out upside down. While this, <coughs> uh, while this is amusing, uh, these results will also help us understand the role of oxen, oxen flow has in shaping plants in the complex forms that dominate the land around us. So even though I won't be able to make superpowered humans, I hope that I've made you just a little bit more interested in the superpowers of plants. Thank you.